हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू आर हियर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इट सीज दैट डिटरमाइन द मैग्नीट्यूड्स ऑफ एफ वन एफ टू एंड एफ थ्री फॉर इक्विलिब्रम ऑफ द पार्टिकल सो दिस पार्टिकल इज सब्जेक्टेड टू फाइव फोर्सेज एंड इन विच एफ वन एफ टू एंड एफ थ्री दे आर अन नोन सो is we know that when the particle is in equilibrium the resultant of all these forces need to be equal to zero so we have to uh, find the cartesian vector representation of all these forces and then we have to add up so first of all uh, i will write f1 as a cartesian vector representation so f1 vector is equal to so as we can see that this f1 is acting only in the x direction so it's y and z component are zero and the x component has a magnitude of f1 so we can write that this is acting in the positive x so we will write plus f1i similarly this is f2 so f2 cartesian vector so as we can see that this f2 is making 30 degrees so it will have two components uh, it is making 30 degrees with the y axis so it has one component along the negative y and this is cos component of f2 we can write that this is f2 cos of 30 and it will have one component which is acting in this direction this is along the positive k direction and its x component is zero so we can write that it is zero i and minus f2 cos of 30 this is acting in the negative j so minus f2 cos of 30 j and this is the sine component so and it is acting in the positive case so i will write plus f2 cos of uh, sine of 30 k okay. this one is the sine component this is the cos component similarly f3 is acting in the negative k direction so its uh, x and y component both are zero so we can write that f3 this is 0 i plus 0 j minus f3 k it is acting in the negative z direction so it is acting in the minus k direction similarly let's say this is a 4 and a 4 has a magnitude of 10 kN this is a 4 so it is lying in the xy plane so it will have two components it will have one component in the positive y direction and this one will be a four magnitude is 10 so this is 10 uh, let's say we are considering this angle let's say this angle is alpha so this is 10 cos of alpha and this angle is represented in terms of this triangle so let's say this is that alpha so cos of alpha is 24 divided by 25 from the triangle so let me write this is 24 divided by 25 and similarly it will have one component which is acting along this which is acting in the negative x so this is 10 sin of alpha and sin of alpha is 7 divided by 25 so this is 7 divided by 25 so this is let me write that a four cartesian vector representation so as we can see that it has no component in the in the z direction so that is zero so this is uh, this component is acting in the negative x so i will write minus 10 into 7 divided by 25 i and this is acting in the positive j so i will write plus 10 into 24 divided by 25 j plus 0 k and similarly let's say this is a 5 so this vector is again lying in the xy plane and it is making 30 degrees with the y axis so it will have two components as well one of its components is acting in this direction and this is a uh, 4 cos of 30 so let me write this is 4 cos of 30 and this is in the negative j and its one comes is acting in this direction and this is in the negative i and this is the sine comes so we can write that this is 4 sine of 30 so f5 four sin of 30 is in the negative i so i will write minus four sin of 30 in the negative i and this is in the negative j so i will write minus four cos of 30 in the negative j plus 0 k and the particle is in equilibrium so the summation of all these forces need to be equal to 0 and that will be the resultant the resultant is 0 i plus 0 j plus 0 k so this means that if we add up all the i components so that will be equal to 0 and if we add up all the j's components that will be equal to 
and similarly the addition of all the components along the z, uh, z axis will also be equal to zero so now if we write that the summation of forces along the x axis is, is equal to zero so we have f1 minus 10 into 7 divided by 25 minus 4 sine of 30 this is equal to 0 or uh, if I bring these two terms to the other side of the equation so they will become positive so 10 into 7 divided by 25 plus 4 sine of 30 and this is 4.8 kilonewton right f1 is 4.8 kilonewton the units are kilonewtons since uh, f4 and f5 they are in kilonewtons right so this summation of forces along x this gives us f1 which was unknown similarly the summation of forces along the y axis is equals to zero so we have to add up all the j components this is minus f2 cos of 30 plus 10 into 24 divided by 25 minus 4 cos of 30 and this is equal to 0 and if I bring these two terms to the other side of equation so they will become negative so minus this will become positive so and if we divide uh, this by minus cos of 30 so we will get f2 so f2 is minus 10 into 24 divided by 25 plus 4 cos of 30 divided by minus cos of 30 this gives us uh, 7.09 approximately so f2 is 7.09 kilonewton similarly the summation of forces along the z-axis is, is also equal to 0 so we have to add up all the k component so f2 sine of 30 now f2 is known which is 7.09 so 7.09 sine of 30 minus f3 equals to 0 or we can say that f3 is the sine component of that f2 so 7.09 sine of 30 degrees this is f3 3.55 approximately so f3 is 3.55 kilonewton so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe my channel and like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems from hibler statics